Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome to another episode of Game Break, an ongoing series where me and my crew play some video games to distract ourselves from our creative endeavors every once in a while. I am Charles coming to you today with Vertical Drop Heroes HD, which is a lot of fun from like the nine minutes that I checked it out for. And yeah, let's let's just dive right in. I said let's dive right in. Okay, mouse doesn't do anything. The ancient legends speak of a great hero who will enter the portal at the Temple of Knowledge, then fight across many strange and fantastic lands in search of the holy sanctuary that holds a great secret to existence. Unfortunately, as you will soon find out, the problem with ancient prophecies is that everyone thinks the prophecy is about them, especially in a land of epic adventure and bloodthirsty monsters. This is the story about the tragic and largely unnecessary deaths of the many heroes who thought they were the great hero of prophecy, but were sadly and fatally mistaken. It is also the story about the one hero who did make it. Us. All right, now let's see here. Yeah. We got three that we can start off with. Uh, arrow clones, arrow mega jump, daggers mega jump. Uh, I like the mega jump. Mega jump is useful. Arrows or daggers? Uh, let's do ranged. I like ranged. Press X to select and C to reroll characters. Haha, <laughs> it's like, um, what is that? Scribble knots. It's like that level. Alright, so, X is attack, C is jump, boosh, interact. Activate the shrine to trigger a ring of ice bolts in all directions. there's a way to dig down, as it were. Oh, alright, so Z is arrow. Oh, hey, that, that destroyed things. Um, that destroyed a lot, goodness. And, um, oh. Okay, so I have seven arrows. I have two mega jumps because I kind of been burning them. Hi. New power Omni Slash. Purchase this new power for future heroes. Rapidly teleports to and hits multiple visible enemies in a short time. You have unlocked Omni Slash for all future heroes rapidly. Blah blah. Cool. Here comes more bad guys. Yay. Activate the shrine to spawn two enemies and gain a key. Boop. How do I... wanna... Level up. How'd I do that? No, seriously, how'd I do that? Whoa, 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 whoa.
These are all suck. Alright, so we gotta be on the same level as Oh, that is most unhelpful, actually. <laughs> Unless I can break through that somehow. Yeah, okay, gave me XP, that's cool. That's an alarm. Whoa, 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 Two keys. Jump, jump. I don't know how many were up there that we needed, though. Ooh. Well, we got another key out of deal, so. Reroll the initial hero selection for a small fee. That's cool, but I don't really need that at the moment. Level two. Oh, level four. Goodness. You have rescued a captured ally. Every captured ally has a different, has a special ability that helps you in different ways. Oh wow, he's just dropping gold everywhere. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, you're just, um... You're gonna die. Crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. No charges. Unlock with five keys. Well, now I have three. You hit for a lot. Let me come back up here. Everything there, covered everything there. Purchase this new ability for future heroes. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh. Uh...
shrine. We need that shrine. Oh, so if you actually do that beforehand, okay. So the shrine is there. Activate the shrine and recharge your ability to fall. This is basically the whole game. You just keep on dropping down, killing everything you can, and leveling up. Whoa, 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 whoa. And paying better attention than I was. Shrine of Fate. Activate the shrine to trigger a ring of fireballs in all directions. Oh. Nice. Okay. Shrine of keys. I like the thought of that. Spawn two enemies and gain a key. That's fine. So there's three enemies down there. I got five arrows. Oh. Three arrows. I wasn't. That. Oh, I appreciate that you don't turn around. Record stone underneath. Cool. Shrine of Shadows. Take care of you first. Activate the shrine to turn invisible for 10 seconds, allowing you to get past enemies unharmed. 
I'm gonna save that. I have seven keys. 100 coins to unlock. Lord. Activate the shrine and spend 100 coins to enable the teleportation shrine to skip to level 2. If you do not have enough coins, activating the shrine allows you to make a partial payment first. Gain the power of flight until you are hit. Huh. I'm gonna go farther down. Oh, okay. No, let's go back up. Oop. Alright, well. You're still over here. Guy, um, ah, yeah, there's there's permadeath in this thing, which is a little disappointing. Leaf Scythe, the second, you're a Mega Jump, Fireball, Omni Slash. Let's try this one. You need to check what each ability or power does. You can visit the two monks in the Temple of Knowledge. Pacifist monk. At least once before you can activate the red crystal for a new game. Huh. Interest. Fireball. Blacksmith. Current level one, how do you... Oh! Well, that's easy. So... He's the one who makes hammers for all future players, so... Cool. So, when I get high again, the next character is gonna be good. Purchase this new trade for future heroes. 35, I don't have enough. I need more coins. actually have stuff in them. Those just slowly deteriorate. Good. Another key. Shrine of Frost. Activate the shrine trigger. Ring of Ice Bolts in all directions. Sure, why not? Hey, another key. And I feel like this is randomly generated for each level. Shrine of Health. I don't need that. Two enemies and gain a key. You're really just gonna leave me here. 
left behind. Huh. Whoa. Get around that for that. Oh, I can't get that high. That's effective. I like that. buddies with me. Do they stick with me? Oh! Every time a minion dies, we'll see a swarm of flies. That's odd. Are those small flies hurting me? 
That wasn't quite clear. I think those swarm of flies are hurting me. That's not fair. That is most decidedly unfair. I do not care for that. Abilities and powers will be refreshed when you go through any portal gate. Cool. Activate the challenge for... Ooh. I don't know what that did. But I'll take it. I'm not really providing any commentary for this game, I'm just playing it because it really is just that fun. Sorry about that. Um, it's interesting how you have the different uh, randomly generated characters. Yeah, sure. Oh, you took away my fly. the randomly generated aspect of it. So, every time you play, it's a little different. And the fact that all the characters are kind of randomly generated as well adds a fun little factor to it. So many alarms.
We're good, we're fine. I like exploding boxes. Exploding boxes are fine. Uh, you, do? you have coins. I'll take your coins. And you're there. Let's do that. Take you out. Release you. Nice. Well, now that I have health, why not? Oh, he doesn't teleport with me? That's not fair. I didn't realize that. Makes this rather silly. I'm gonna feel very silly if I die because of this. Okay. Yeah, you're just you're just chilling out over here. That's that's cool. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. That's gonna ruin my health. Hmm. I want you. But then again, they don't come with me. So it doesn't really matter. Wow. 
That escalated quickly. This is a fun little game, but you can only get so far, which is a little frustrating. Uh, we'll do one more. Let's try the daggers and clones. Alright, now we have money. What is that? Do again. Plus seven starting HP for all future heroes per level purchased. Uh, increases starting damage for all future heroes per level purchased. Okay. So future people will be healthier and stronger. That helps. Oh, I spent all my coins. Dang it. Ooh, lost future shrines. Doors I like. Trying to jump. Nice and simple, but it gets progressively harder. There's a bit of strategy involved, even in. What the crap? We have to try to spend 18 coins to get. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, fire! I'm going to die a horrible, horrible death. Unless 
you help me very quickly. Son of a whore. Why are you so much stronger? Oh, is it really only for, the, like, the successors of that particular character? Oh, if so, that's a little frustrating. Huh. That's interesting. But yeah, this really is a fun little game. And you could just play it endlessly. I mean, theoretically, there you get farther and farther. I don't know how many levels there are, but... As you can tell, I'm not that good at it. I just happen to have fun with it from time to time. Thank you for joining me for this relatively light episode of Game Break. And until next time, go do something creative. <laughs>